do an entire swap and look what I found right here. It's wide open. So of course the old one from Mama Mopar and the new one from Hunching Chang or something like that, somewhere in China. 200 bucks without the core, well let's say 300 bucks probably, Canadian. This one was like 115 bucks shipped to me, don't have to bother with the core. Let's try and save some money. <laughs> It's Uncle Mark here again. Uh, long time no see, I know. So it doesn't make any noise. Normal speeds, speeding up. When you let off the gas. You hear it? Doesn't even seem to really matter. You can boot it, doesn't make any noise. Usually they make noise when you turn, right? Well, let's go here. Let's do a U turn right here. Give it some gas. No noise at all. Just when you let off. But you have to let off and not use the brake. That's from that long trip we did. We had to do a trip as soon as I found out about this noise. Or that the boot was open. I thought, well, it's, we're going to be driving a lot of straight stuff. It's not going to be dirty. It should be fine. Put about uh, 800 kilometers on it going to a doctor's appointment. Of course, nothing close, right? And this started. Ordered the part right away though, and we've got it, so let's do it. Figured out why it's knocking. When I, look, I uh, tightened these babies up when we went on our uh, trip, after we noticed, well, I switched tires. As I was switching this tire, I noticed the CV joint is ripped open. Put this back on, tightened it up to 100 foot pounds. Went on an 800 kilometer trip, I guess. I should have checked at 150, like they suggest. Most people think, oh, you don't need to do that. Well, take a look. I'm going to set this to, uh, I don't know. Wow. That was 50 pounds. I haven't touched these. Oops. Oops. That was a little tighter. Goodness. There's still a problem. We know that the boot is ripped open. Wow. Lucky this thing didn't fall off. I know, I'm not doing it in order. Okay, let's go up to uh, 85 foot pounds. We'll do them in order. I'm going to take them off right away, so. We'll just leave it there. Let's get out of here and see uh, if it makes any noise. No, there's nobody behind us I can see. Let off the gas. Yeah, no noise. Give it gas, so we don't want to make any noise there. Well, we're good. We're replacing it anyway, but originally I was thinking I'll just buy a boot. I didn't know what the boot was worth, and I thought it's a lot of work. You can get the whole shop for 115 bucks from Rock Auto Ship to Canada here. That's what I did. We'll price the boot out later, and what we'll do is uh, I'll save the shop because there's no, they didn't want a core. And what we can do is 
do a video on cleaning up and changing the boot. I think this is going to be quicker, at least I hope so. At least we know what the knock was. Could have killed myself. Well, a quick look, and yeah, they're kind of rusty a little bit. I don't know. I, I cleaned them every so often. Look at this one, though. This will be a video for another time there. This one looks okay, but this one must have been getting chewed out. Can't do anything about it right now because all the stores are closed because it's a May long weekend. We've got the Duchess of whoever married, and uh, because of that, well, because of, I guess, who was the Queen Elizabeth's birthday? I can't get a stud for this. Spray a little bit of uh, goo on here. Let it work its magic. This has been off before. This is a 2010, so we got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, just about not enough. Eight year old van. We don't have a whole lot of, well, we've got some salt here in Upper Canada, but uh, not as much as some places. We'll see how it comes off. That might be the easy part. It's a 32 millimeter. Got it from these guys. See how it goes. These aren't very tight. On this bed, anyway, I think they're 118 foot pounds. I'll show you where to find out, depending on what vehicle you're working on, where you can find those numbers from. I replaced the hub on here quite some time ago, and they gave me those specs with the hub because you have to retorque it. But I'm pretty sure the new nut and the shaft doesn't tell you that. We'll find out. Don't bet on it being this easy for you. Yeah. I hope it is. But don't count on it. These are a one time use. They don't have the cotter pin. And that whole thing holding it in there. Hmm. Give it a little tap. Oh, look, it's moving too. Oh my. It's moving easy because I put some anti seize on it last time I worked on this. That's what, a couple years back. Turn this baby. This is how I knew it was leaking before. Well, this is all dirty. The whole bunch of, let's see if I can get the light in there. Whole bunch of this goo. Oil, oil, grease. And then of course, if you look at the CV joint boot, on, oh, you can just see in the bottom. You see down there, see how it's ripped open. Looks like this lower ball joint is a 17. No, not. What is it? So we got a 19. Hmm, I thought 19 was too big. I bet you it's a Chrysler 18. Oh, uh, no, maybe it is 19. No, it's an 18. What I've been doing is I've been just tapping on this, and maybe it'll come all the way out the way it is. I doubt it, but... I think that's the maximum that's going to go. Darn. <sighs> but the problem is I don't think we're going to get this... This thing is big enough. Doesn't look like... Not wide enough. Hmm. 
I wonder. Let's try something else. Well, I'm not sure what to do. I don't think I'm going to get this out without the right kind of thing there. It's probably going to wreck the boot anyway, and then I'm going to need a, the ball joint or a lower control arm. I'm going to see if I can undo the... Uh, uh, I'll show you what I want to do. I don't know if it's going to work at all or not, but I think I'm going to try to take the turret end off, and then maybe this can just tilt just enough, so then that'll pop out. I don't know if it'll tilt that much, but it's not going to hurt. This thing is... I'm getting this baby off here too, so let's try her. Okay, just don't hold your breath. We're going to try this, but... Oops, sorry. Try not to bump the camera as we do this. It's not the technical difficulties, huh? I'm somehow thinking this won't work because if it did, somebody else would have figured it out. Oh. Clamp on the top of this now. Everything wants to spin. Yeah. yeah, I know, you guys already figured it out. This should be on here first. Oh well, that's not gonna work. I guess we need the proper piece for it. Looks like it's an eight. Get this baby to sit right. Hopefully. There we go. I have no choice, so let's try this thing first. Sorry guys, I gotta be in your way. Yeah. Okay. Because I can't hold on the top here anymore, so. I'm hoping this is gonna work. Guess we could spray some this stuff in here now. Maybe help it turn a little bit. Be something if this works, huh? That would just be amazing. I think I've wasted my time, but I guess I don't have too many more choices right now. Oh my goodness. Ouch, not much room in here, so you know you're trying to do some videoing and you're trying to do whatever else you can. Moving a lot easier now. That she's gonna come off. Oh, okay. And it looks like it just wants to fall out. Hmm. There we go. Yuck. Full of grease. Probably should have been wearing gloves on my hands. Use this. Seems to work good for hands. Of course, I'm sure there's some warning saying not to do it, but it's an emergency. How long can I live anyway, right? Works pretty darn good. All right, let's continue. Well, my theory was if I can turn this far enough, I can 
push this far enough, but I, um, well, we got some resistance here. Huh. Oh, what else would work that way? Nope, it's got to go this way, if anything. Ah, there's no way it's going to go out far enough. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Still hitting something, so. Well, maybe this will work. It looks like it might. I'd help if I had an extra set of hands, wouldn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Whatever the misses would help. Can you just pull it this way as far as you can, like that? Yep. Just hold it like that. Yeah. So this as far as you can hold it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't think this is going to work. It came out. There. Okay. Try hold it out. right there. So close. You hold it. I didn't want to resort to this because, you know, usually you don't have this kind of stuff. I do have an air ratchet, or uh, it's not a ratchet. It's one of these things. Anyway. Hmm. It's an air duel. I thought maybe we could push it down, but it doesn't look like it. Uh... I don't know, Mrs. M. Well, it doesn't seem too happy there. I wonder if I could just go on there. I need a different kind of tool. This, uh... The end of this thing is not really what I need. I need something else. Uh... Hmm. Well, I guess it could get in the middle there. Might that work? I don't want to break anything. Oh boy. Sure need that ball joint fork. No room in here, nowhere. Ugh. Hmm. What else can I do? Wow, it worked. Whoop. Sorry guys, I got so excited it knocked it off. Take a look. Just gonna take me a minute to just loosen this a little bit again. It actually dropped. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Better lighting lamp. No, that's fine. There we go. It's a bit worse, but yeah, that problem again. Yeah. 
Okay, now how do we get this to stay down? There we go. Look at that. Can you imagine? Well, I'm so proud of me. You know, so we can just. There we go. It should come all the way out. Come on, baby. There you go. The first part of it. What are we fighting against? We're fighting against the lower control arm, which would be nice if we had it tied down. I see this little clip just fell out. Might need that. And my hands are filthy again. I wonder if it would just pop out. I doubt it, but everything I've doubted so far has worked. <laughs> no, we'll have to go under there. I'm gonna try and get that out of there. I'm just gonna pop it out. I'm just gonna try and grab her from underneath here. Give her a couple of wraps. Yeah, we're not. Come on, baby. That should just, there's no clip for now. There we go. And hopefully no transmission fluid comes out because you can't really find out how much fluid you have in these things. Wow. Mm. Set that baby aside. Yeah. Ooh -hoo. You guys see? Yeah. Looks like we'll be okay. If we just backwards the process, should just go in and get around all this other stuff here. Just make sure sure your splines are going in. <laughs> really hard to tell. Brake line, some of my lighting for the show. There we go. Will that help? Come on. Sorry, guys, I just twisted a couple times and it popped in. Take my word for it. Just I just pushed and pushed, turned and pushed. Now this little guy here sits right there, right against there, and uh, it fell off the other one. Just gonna clean it up a little bit. I don't know if it turns or if it doesn't turn, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of. Grease on it. That's not gonna hurt it, I don't think. If it does, oh well. That'll be another video. Take this off. It sits right in there. See, they've got something on there, but I don't know if that's enough. I'm gonna put a little bit of anti C stuff on it because I want it to slide out next time. Hmm. Should be fine. Let's see where it. Uh... Now, if we can just move all this back and pull this out far enough, get it out of that way. Stick it in. Ouch. Sure, way it's supposed to go in here. Well, it looks like he wants to go in. Sorry, I hope I didn't have my head in that shot the whole time. As you can see, it's coming in. We still have to do uh, get that lower ball drain in there, so get some lighting in there, and we'll take a look at that. I'm going to put a little bit of that anti seize on right in here. 
because it's gonna have to come off one day again and I want it to come off as easy as it just did it was just crazy there's no way I figured I was gonna come off that no way Hmm. How hard is that gonna be to put it back in? I guess that hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what else? We got a nut on there. Where would that nut went now? Uh, found the nut. They don't give you much space in here, do they? Now. Come on. This is going to be slow going. I don't know if I'd suggest you try this or not, just because I wouldn't call it luck, but I had some, just so happened, things went pretty good. I guess if I'd have the right kind of fork to split this ball joint, but then I'm worried about the boot. What do you think? Could you have got it off without hurting the boot? Rip the boot and then you're going to be doing a lower ball joint. Oh, come on. Oh, I can figure it. Move with the fingers for a little bit. It actually has uh, some kind of an Allen key in the top of it, too. So if it starts spinning, you can grab it with if you can get an Allen key in there. We'll find out. It's probably gonna have to do that. Mrs. Mark was happy, she came back in the garage there, and I told her I had it done. In and she said, uh, you, How'd you do it? And I said, I beat on the lower control arm. She said, Well, I was kind of suggesting that I'm going to suggest that, but spinning or what it's doing now. Oh, it's still sitting there. Oh. <laughs> Maybe what we'll do, we'll put the tower end back on too first. Put a little bit of, oh, that anti C's on there too. Why not? That way it'll just Hopefully pop off next time. It popped off this time. Really amazed. Really amazed. That just went too good. Pop that baby back in there. Uh, what's the problem now? There we go. We go low enough? Probably not. Oh my goodness. Maybe. I think I need to... I need to turn the steering wheel. That might be enough, huh? Nice. Oops. Now, try it again. Stuff up there, though. Yeah. Tough to do these things but not extra, without a buddy. Oh, man. Just the way it goes. Oh. Well, I think we have to do the same way that we took it off. We've got to put it back on. So this is going to want to spin and you can't grab it from the top yet. So remember, we used needle nose vice grips. 
Here, maybe let me just move you over here a little more. Can you see that a little better? So I'm going to grab them. Just till. This is 18 millimeters, remember that? Well, you can't see a whole lot, can you? Here, let me just bend this whole thing up a little more. Sorry about that. Still, I can. So we can grab this top. Not too far because we won't get that out. Uh, so you see this top part here wants to spin now. And we had what, 12 was it? It's a 9 millimeter. So he's an 18 millimeter wrench. And we're using a 9 millimeter socket. Or if you had a 9 millimeter wrench, I guess. I must have one somewhere, but this just seems so much easier. Hmm. A lot of turning. strong that is but maybe I'll give him one more little tug. Uh, oh, maybe one more. There you go. Back new. Let's take the camera and we'll go back under here and we'll tighten this baby up. Maybe we are as tight as we're going to go. Uh, if we went the right way, that might help. Uh, anyway, we're putting one of these new ones back on. We're just about done. I think this is taking me two hours because I had some issues and I stopped for a break because it's like, okay, don't panic. You'll be off to do it. All right, she's going on easier now. Must have pulled through. Okay, we're gonna just leave it like that and get my torque wrench and torque her down. Give her a little more room to see. 118 foot pounds. It's not very much. Not 120, not 115, 118. So they want, we should have a torque wrench. That's at least for this uh, 2010. I don't know if they change a little later on or not. I'll show you where we can find out a really, I found a, a really good website. Let's take a look. I apologize for the horrible video for this. I don't know how to screen capture all this. I know if you look here, technical. Specs, there we go. When I looked this up originally, I looked it up on my iPad and that was a lot easier to do. So we want uh, hub and wheel bearings. There you go. Ooh. I'm going to get you a little bit closer here. So let's do this again. It was a wheel and hub bearing. Do I need a brand? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's go 2010 again. The American model was a Dodge, right? Dodge. And this one was a Grand Caravan. Blip. And then you're supposed to click on the wrench. That looks familiar. And it tells you right here, as we guessed, 118 foot-pounds uh, for the front. So if you ever need to look something like that up, 
let's just see if it's any different. Can we go back? If it was a little newer. Let's go 15 is as soon as I got it here. Give it some time. See if it's similar or not. And it's still 118. Okay. I'm just going to go back one here. Let's do the first one that came out with. I'm pretty sure they're all the same. So 8, I believe, is the first year it came up with. Uh, the Grand Caravan in this body style. Let's click on that. And it's still 118 foot-pounds. So easy enough. That's how you do it. Just figure out what your vehicle is and you'll get the specs here because you want to know for sure that number. You don't want to over tighten it or under tighten it. Get my little can out of here. I was using that to mark the camera up. You may have noticed that was under there and you're probably thinking, Mark, that's a no-no. Well, it kind of is, but it's not because I've got a jack under there. It's, or it's actually sitting on a jack stand. I don't know why I didn't pull this out. Always use a jack stand. One last thing I want to do is just clean up the rust on here because Wear eye protection. Remember the last video I did. Replace this stud uh, in another video. I don't have one, so I don't even know if I'm going to put that nut back on there. Don't really want to ruin that anymore. We had a video quite a while back where I was cleaning some of these up, and one of these ended up in my hand, sticking out light. I looked like, uh, who's the guy with the claw like this? Wolverine? Good thing I didn't get it in the eye. They should go good now, because if they have a little bit of rust in your uh, torquing, the bolts on there, the rust actually makes the bolt or the nut bind a little bit so you might think you're up to the right torque but it's actually the rust is slowing you down and uh, you know you might be at 110 foot pounds according to the machine there but we're only really at 80 because it's stopping on the rust so let's go through what we needed we did the clean up that stuff right so we'll write it in big letters we need, need uh, 32 inch millimeter one of these for the uh, sieve drain nut this is half inch an extension, 18 millimeter wrench, I used a gear wrench, a little easier. I also used, uh, what was this now, it's a 9 millimeter, it's a multi-point, well it's not multi-point, what is that? points I can't even see that right now one two three four five six point a little better than the 12 points you won't strip anything what else we use big hammer hammers are always fun maybe we should write that down on there I use these little uh, needle nose vice grips and that was to grab underneath the uh, tire rod well I guess you don't need to take that off you might need them anyway. Pry bar? Well, actually not a pry bar. It's a, it's a bar. What do you call those bars? It's been a lot of work in here. I'm tired. It's to jimmy it loose. And you'll need a torque wrench. Don't forget that. Torque. How do you spell torque? Very important. And this was a hundred foot pounds, so uh 118, I believe it was. Yours may be different. Uh look it up. Uh go to that website I talked to you about. And uh, you know, for any vehicle, this kind of gives you a rough idea how hard it's gonna be. I'd say this was easy because of the vehicle for some reason, it just went too slick. So if you think you want to try and do the job or not. At least you know how hard it is and you know why they want to charge you. I don't know what they're going to charge you. 300 bucks, 350 to do this, plus the parts, I'm thinking. Give or take, Canadian, American, New Zealand.